going on guys welcome back to another swift video in today's video we're going to be learning how to take a picture via the camera in your ios app so here we've got a whoops here we've got a application and this is what we're going to be making we got this button down here and tapping it prompts the camera and we're going to take an awesome picture of my airpods right here and once we snap it, we can actually also crop it out and zoom it in and do all this good stuff. Hit this button to continue. And we now have that image uh, in our app in an image view. So we'll take a look at how we can get that editing cropping functionality as well as use the original full sized image. So with that said, make sure you destroy that like button as always. Get Xcode ready, get excited, let's jump right in. Quick pause before we get into the video. If you haven't seen it already, I am hard at work putting together iosacademy.io, a community where all of us iOS engineers can come together, learn how to build some of the top apps like Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, in addition to interview prep to land some of these iOS roles at top tech companies. So if you're interested in the free and premium content to come, head on over to iosacademy.io and enter your email address in the waitlist form and you will be notified as content becomes available. That said, let's get into the video. All right, so we're gonna get started by opening up Xcode and creating a new project. We'll stick with the single view application and I'm gonna go ahead and call this taking pictures. Go ahead and save it wherever you'd like. I'll throw it in this iOS Academy folder and let's jump right in. So as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, you'll need to run the app on your device. So I've got my personal device here hooked up with screen capture. So let's get started by first selecting that device from your list of devices to deploy to and hit that run button to build and run. It takes a little bit longer on a real device. So let's just do that when we start. That way we don't have to waste our time. And while it's doing that, what we can do is talk about what we're gonna be building rather how we're gonna be building it. You already saw what we're gonna be building. So we are going to add a button to our screen as well as an image view. And when the user hits the button, we will present the camera. And once they take a picture, we will show said picture in the image view. So pretty straightforward. So let's begin by creating a IB action in here. And this is going to be did tap button and it looks like this just built so there's that app we're going to be playing around with installed on the device and it just launched let me go ahead and actually get out of dark mode so it looks normal there it goes perfect so did tap button this is going to be hooked up to the button we're going to add to the storyboard and uh, we also want an image view so let me create an IB outlet for an image view. And we also actually want our button to look a little nicer. So let's go ahead and create an outlet for the button as well. And I'm just going to call it button. So now we can jump on into our main.storyboard and add the button and the image view. So there it goes. So once this is loaded up, Go ahead and come up here and hit this little plus icon to see your library of items and start by finding a UI button, drag it on in. And once you have it dropped in right there, let's right click this and hook up that did tab button IB action to the button and we want it to be touch up inside. Now we wanna also select it and apply some constraints. So select the button and come down here and we're gonna do, let's see, we're gonna do uh, 20 from the bottom. We're gonna do 30 from the left, 30 from the right. And we're gonna say this has a height of 52. Go ahead and hit enter and your button should pop down there. We're gonna customize this with some code. So let's just leave it looking like that for the time being. Next up, open up that uh, library of items again and drag in a image view. And we want to actually connect the outlet. So right click that and drag from the image view to the image view. And while we're in here, we also want to connect that outlet for the button. So go ahead and connect that as well. And let's select this image view and add some constraints to this guy as well. 
So select that, hit this, and we're gonna say this is 20 all the way around. Whoops. Looks like my tab doesn't wanna work right now. There it goes. And let's hit enter. And we should be good to go in our storyboard now. So let's go back to our view controller and make things look a little bit nicer. And let's see, it's complaining here. Let's add a force unwrap and all the errors should go away. So let's make our button look a little nicer. We're gonna say button. The background color is gonna be a system blue. We're gonna set a title and a title color. This is gonna be take picture for a state of normal. And let's set a title color. We're gonna set this to be white, also for normal. And let's see, image view. Let's change the image view's background to be a secondary background. That way we can see it a little better. Uh, so background color, and this is going to be system secondary. I think it's secondary system, that's what it is. And go ahead and hit Command R to build and run. And you should now see that image view and the button. So bear with Xcode being slow as usual. And basically once we've got this UI, UI up, we wanna actually take a picture. So we're gonna to want to write that code. So cool. So we have our button down here and we have this uh, subtly right uh, gray area here. Let me actually enter dark mode. It's probably a little easier to see the difference. So we have this gray area here, which is our whole image view. So let's actually make this button work. So right now tapping it does nothing. We wanna present a camera. So the way we do that is we say let picker, you can call it whatever you want, is a UI image picker controller. And we are gonna say picker, the source type is going to be the camera. And let's see, what else do we want? We can now simply just say present picker animated, whoops, that's supposed to be a comma, animated true, and we also want to assign the picker's delegate to self. And the delegate is how we're going to actually get the image out of uh, the picker object. So it's going to start complaining here that we can't assign it to self because self does not conform. So we're going to add an extension for the view controller and have it conform to UI image picker controller delegate. And we also want it to conform to UI uh, navigation controller delegate. And from this UI image picker, there are two functions that we want to implement. And they actually show up right here. So one of them is image picker controller uh, did cancel. And the did cancel, we simply want to dismiss the picker. So we can say picker uh, dismiss animated true. And once it's animated, completion is nil. And the other one is uh, image picker did finish picking. And it basically gives you a parameter uh, of info and the info dictionary is gonna actually contain a reference to the image that was taken. So we're gonna say let image, rather we're gonna say guard let image, cause it might be nil, is in info UI image picker controller uh, info key. And off of this info key, we want the original image. So there's also an edited image in here I believe there is, there it is. Autocomplete loves to not work half the time. So we're gonna use original image to start and then we're gonna also take a look at uh, edited image in just a moment. So if we can't find an image, we're gonna return. And we also want to cast this to be a UI image. And once we have a, once we have an image, we're gonna say image view, image is the image that we just took a picture of. And we also wanna of course dismiss that picker uh, before we do any of this other stuff. So go ahead and do picker, dismiss, animated true, completion, nil. And that about does it for the code. It's not a lot of code at all, but before we hit run, there is one more super important thing we need to do in the info.plist. And once we open that up, it is add a privacy string. So I'm sure you've seen in other apps when you go 
Uh, when the app goes to try to get permission for your camera, it shows you so-and-so app wants permission to the camera for such and such reason. So we need to add a string in here, which is shown in that alert when the user tries to go and use the camera. So we're gonna say, please allow access to take a picture for this video. A lot of exclamation mark because we're extra aggressive today. So go ahead and hit stop. You know, let's hit that run button once more and hopefully everything's gonna work. So it went ahead and built and it's launching there. Bear with it. There it goes. I'm gonna hit this button down here and looks like we got the camera popping up as well as the uh, permission dialog. So we're gonna allow. And here you guys can see my setup. So here's a, here's a picture of me taking a picture of my simulator, which is a little bit of inception. But uh, let's take a picture of, uh, let's take a picture of these AirPods I've got here. So we're gonna snap a real cool picture of us. And uh, now we can hit this to continue. And now in our image view, we see that image that we just captured. So let's make one adjustment before we wrap up the video. And that is for the picker, we are going to say picker allows editing is true. And what this lets you do is this uh, allows the user to crop out and zoom in on the image before selecting it. And if the user has edited the image, it's gonna, instead of being the original image, it's gonna be the edited image. So go ahead and hit Command R once more. And let me grab my water bottle, take a picture of this time. Oh, actually I got my Apple Watch here. That's probably a better picture. Let's take a picture of this. So once that launches, we're gonna tap that camera button and we get this popping up and we got this Apple Watch here. So I'm gonna take a picture of that. And now you see we can actually, we have these uh, grid lines and we can move it around and zoom it in and uh, do all this fancy cropping stuff here, which is kind of built into this picker component. And we can hit this to continue. And as you saw there, we now have the image for the cropped and zoomed in image that we selected uh, of the Apple Watch. So there you have it. That's how you can add a basic image picker to take a picture in your app. Pretty straightforward, not a lot of code. Um, now you can obviously customize a lot of this and I think I'll probably be some doing some videos going over that because it gets pretty involved. So that's it. If you haven't destroyed the like button, as always, make sure to do so for the YouTube algorithm. Comment down below with any questions, errors, comments, concerns. I uh, love hearing from you guys as always. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one.